President Joe Biden is in Israel delivering remarks this morning. Let's take a listen. She just got up and walked out the door outside her office. And we're standing there having a photograph taken like you and I are standing looking at the press. And she, without looking at me, she turned she like this and said, you look worried, Senator. I said, I am. She said, don't worry, we Jews have a secret weapon in our fight. We have no place else to go. Well, the truth of the matter is, if there weren't in Israel, we'd have to invent one. The truth of the matter is that I believe that uh, as I went home and said I got in trouble at the time, but it is true. You don't have to be a Jew to be a Zionist. You don't have to be a Jew to be a Zionist. And I think the security and safety of Jews worldwide is anchored in the continued vibrance of the state of Israel. I'd like to write. That's what I think it's about at its core. And so uh, I've admired you uh, evolved this country for so long. And uh, I'm convinced that the more people know the, your responses to what's happening, as opposed to just what war and peace is about, the more they're going to be kind of embrace, embrace Israel. And, uh, but uh, I have a lot more to say, but I'd like to talk to you in private if I can. So what you're seeing right now is President Biden and Secretary of State Antony Blinken both in Israel. Um, President Biden met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu following that terrible attack in Gaza. And he was uh, talking this morning, uh, again, pledging the U.S. support for Israel. Yeah, we know that's been the big story this morning. It's just how the U.S. is in solidarity with Israel. And um, we know one of the main goals right now for the president's visit is to figure out a plan to release some of those hostages that have been held by Hamas and, of course, a plan to get some of that aid mm -hmm. over there as well. Um, overseas. So uh, his visit comes as we talk about that fatal blast at a Gaza City hospital that claimed the lives of hundreds of people. And according to the Palest uh, Palestinian health ministry, uh, the leader there blaming Israel airstrikes for this. So uh, again, we just heard from President Biden, again, pledging U.S. support for Israel. And of course, once we get more on that and the rest of his trip, we'll be sure to update you both on air and online.